Namaste angels. I'm going to do a client reading. Um, for a woman, I don't think we've had any discussion at all. Um, and you know, that is, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Um, somebody may be a fire sign. Cause I, as soon as I shuffled to this card, but it has nothing to do with being a fire sign, but that was the first thing that jumped out to me. Um, that somebody may be a fire sign. What this card means by showing up though, however, is that, um, we got to leave our baggage behind and only take with us the positivity from experiences that we've had and life in general, you know, we're moving on from things. And after I shuffled this one, I shuffled the angel tarot and came to the five of fire. And then I shuffled the ascended masters deck. Um, and by detached from drama with Athena, the goddess of war. So I think that one of the things from which we may be walking away in this scenario uh, and leaving behind is drama and foolishness and, and things of that nature. And we're just taking the positivity and we're going to keep walking. All right. So I'm beginning with golden memories and opening to relationship. Very nice. Relationship and meditation. This is starting to look like the last reading I did. There, I began with um, relationship, but I think I went to meditation next. And emergence. Meditation. Moon tree also showed up, as did emergence, I think. Yeah, these are a lot of the same repeat cards. Um, good news for you. Moon tree represents sacred union, sacred marriage, uh, the marriage between two sacred souls, sacred beings, and also the marriage between heaven and earth. It also tends to show up for me, um, you know, times like now when there is a new or full moon approaching as there is right now at present meditation back. I'll go one more celebration was also one of their cards. This might love, maybe just love is in the air, love and relationship and commitment in the air, perhaps. Wow. I think I may have even come to forgiveness um, after shuffling their cards too. With Kuan Yin. Your overall energy is answered prayer. I'm just laying five cards to see me, see what they'll tell me about you and or, you know, the union. Dreams. Um, this I feel that is about, it's about, uh, these cards always speak to me and always say different things each time I pick them up. Um, for you, this card is saying that there is definitely communication trying to come into you in your dreams. I feel that there's a block though with you. Um, There's something prohibiting you from receiving it. And I started to say that it might be like alcohol, but I didn't know. Well, I guess I am saying it now. I, I don't mean it in the sense of like an alcoholic. Um, but just maybe that alcohol and beer specifically is popping up. Um, maybe an inhibitor two messages that are trying to come through to you. Maybe it's from the other side. Maybe it's the masculine sending them. He's the one with the beer. I don't know. That just came also. Uh, I guess both are possible. In any case, moving on celebration. And when this card shows up for me, to me, to me, it's about divinity because this this car reminds me of the Holy Spirit. This looks like the, you know, very Pentecostal to me. Um, and so the reason that we're celebrating is because, you know, we're all being saved through the, you know, unity and um, fellowship of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> um, and that's what's coming here through here for you. Heaven on earth is similar to golden memories in that it's about the fact that we need to leave something behind 
let something go in order to vacate a space for something new. And as long as we're holding on to that old thing, we cannot have the new thing. We have to let go of the old thing. Um, to the positive for both of you, this is all, all of the experience is leading to ascension. Nothing is taking you down. It's all very positive in the end, ultimately. Um, and when two cards show up together of the same colors, that always has additional meaning for me. So some of the spiritual growth can, is from like your past experiences and maybe experiences that you are now vacating, you are now exiting, um, both you and or the divine masculine, leading to spiritual growth, like our karmic lessons, basically, is what this is. And lastly, guardian. You have a guardian angel. We already saw sacred um, marriage, basically, with that moon card. So maybe that's why it didn't show up again. I'll shuffle these up a little bit more. Maybe a need for somebody to balance out their inner masculine and feminine. That is indeed what is happening in this picture. It is not a picture of a couple in a very tight, beautiful embrace, although it looks like it is, uh, you know, that they're very much in love and cozy. This is one person loving themselves from the inside. Celebration. Eternal flame. Just reminded me of the fire sign again. I thought about, come on, baby, light my fire with the eternal flame. So that may mean something. And now I just opened to two cards of a similar color again. Um, this one being opposite the, the eternal flame is the tri trilogy of light. And I almost said Trinity because that's what it reminds me of or makes that's of what it makes me think. Like this is one being, you know, the masculine or feminine. And this is the other. And this is the universe. And we're, we're both trying to, you know, get as near, um, and dear to, to that light as we can. And as long as, you know, the flame continues to burn, which is forever and ever, we, you know, can keep trying. We have that opportunity. Eternal flame and very nice. The universal heart, the divine masculine of all time. Also the divine healer of all time here to help you through this thing called life, eternal flame. Inner child. Somebody may have an inner child to heal. Somebody's inner child may be um, one of the beings trying to communicate with it, perhaps in dreams that also coming through. Somebody may be having trouble speaking up for themselves. Very drawn to her throat area here in the throat chakra. Wow, the overall energy is the universal heart. He is back. So I'm gonna lay my cross spread now. We can connect with the divine masculine higher self. Ask them to give us some cards here. As well as the universe, that guidance. Uh, the feminine about herself as it relates to the union in a period of healing and similar to the the little girl the throat stood right out this is an area the feminine it may be the feminine um who needs to find her voice as they say and also her sight and like start to believe what she sees and trust in her uh intuition and things of this nature sixth sense The masculine with regard to the feminine, boom, eternal flame. That's beautiful. The masculine with regard to himself, reflection. He may be um, 
at least primarily, who is deciding upon what to leave behind and what to take forward. And with regard to the union, golden path headed in the right direction and toward healing. This is a healing place, but not only is it a healing place, um, because when I think of this card, when I look at this card, it, it makes me think of the movie, um, the Wizard of Oz, and this is like the yellow brick road. So what's at the end of the yellow brick road, but the Emerald City. And so that reminds me of the Emerald Ray, which is all about healing and like at the helm, so to speak, running the, rather than the wizard, um, you know, running the mechanics of the whole thing would be Archangel Raphael there. And when we get to the end and him with the healing, not only is he like the patron of healing, but specifically of the heart chakra. So with this being the golden path, um, toward that, it is, it's the path toward love and healing, basically. Overall, retreat. There's a need to reconnect with the earth. And we all, you know, I can't tell you how often I pull this card. Um, it's something that we all have to do to help us to get grounded, to help us to be able to balance out our own inner and masculine and feminine, to help us to heal our inner child, all of these things. And if you can do meditation um, outside, that's awesome. You know, right? Take advantage of the summer, you know, extended daylight and, and warm temperatures. And it doesn't have to be like this. You don't have to be sitting in the grass Indian style. You can be if, if you're into that, but it can just be walking with, you know, headphones on. That can be your meditation, whatever it is you're into, where you, how you find your peace, where you find your peace. If you can do it outside, that just makes it extra awesome right now because it helps you to connect uh, or get reconnected with um, mother nature and to get grounded. Outcome. Healing sounds. This is another means of medication and something else that can help you. Now, I was just talking about walking around with your headphones on. You can be listening to your favorite music. That can be your healing sound. But there are also what are known, more known as healing sounds, like binaural tones, and they have them for everything. They have them to heal the inner child. They have them to help you get grounded. They have them to help you find balance. Like whatever it is you need to do, they have them to help you study. You can listen to gamma, you know, tones. You can listen to... Um, theta, you know, like they, whatever it is you're trying to work on, they have it to lose weight to all kinds of interesting stuff. They say, you know, change your eye color. I mean, it, it gets into everything, whatever you want to do or need to do in order to heal you, you can like Google, um, a tone for it and, and it exists. I promise you. And it's just sound. So it's like not anybody speaking, you know, because I, I avoid those myself. You never know if, you know, God forbid you fall asleep and there's somebody speaking some sort of foolishness over your life. You don't want that. Um, this It's just tones. But with the masculine have the feminine to do or surrender toward the union and bringing it all together? Love. Open your heart to love. That's all he asks. You, you may be withdrawn, closed off, and that could be in part what this healing is about. Maybe you're aware of that. And you're working on it right now. At least your higher self is guiding you to um, now. And that's, that's awesome. That's the best you can do, you know. And that may be, again, why the divine healer of all time is here. To help us with that additional, additionally. Um, what's the masculine willing to do or surrender toward the union? Tantric union. So it is he who is trying to communicate. And again, it might be he who um, is having trouble getting the messages through, perhaps specifically because of beer <laughs> um, and maybe willing to sacrifice that. Like, you know, maybe not drink as much beer or as often because we're not, it, we don't have to stop drinking. Um, there is nothing, even things that we would think of that are, you know, good for, there is nothing that we're to do like in excess. That's where it becomes, you know, quote unquote sinful. Once something is gluttony, um, and obsessive, that's when it's negative. But if you just, you know, do something on occasion, um, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, you know, who put all this stuff here? Now, some of these things are extra processed and all of that. And we, we to avoid um, 
that as much as possible, you know, and eat as clean and as organic as we can or, you know, as we find ourselves, you know, willing to try to do um, or able to afford to do whatever the case is, because that helps to raise your vibration and to keep it up. Um, you know, the processed foods, they have a lot of chemicals that, that are meant to keep us asleep. So, um, yeah, if we can just avoid those, you know, to the extent that we're able and avoid overdoing, you know, any and everything, we're, you know, we're in, we're in a good, we're in a good light with the universe. Um, what would the universe have the two of you do or can, you know, surrender together, each of you toward the union? Answer prayer. Trust in the universe is what it is asking. Trust that you can ask and receive is what the universe is saying to you. So that may be something that requires some practice on your part. And that's fine too. None of us are expected to ever be perfect or to know, you know, to know it all, to be at the end of the journey from the time that we start or anything like that. I'm going to go on to the angel tarot and see what if we can figure out what this five of fire is about. Competing goals, bothersome details and conflict with others. Often the five of fire for me is like close friends and or family with whom we have some sort of conflict, often jealousy, envy, um, also something that is quote unquote sinful. And the ace of air may be here to cut them away, whoever they are. Um, that's what the Ace of Air does. The Ace of Air is a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, or someone taking on those traits or attributes. It can be about victory, and it can be about cutting out what's no good. It can be about truth as well, getting to the truth of the matter. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation, and perhaps a challenging beginning. But I always like to spin it and say, you know, it's a beginning nonetheless. And so that makes it good, in my opinion. Ace of air and the seven of earth seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. This is about waiting, um, like to reap what we've sown. Seven of earth and strength with Archangel Ariel, great inner strength, release harsh judgments. Instead, exercise some forgiveness and compassion. We saw um, the need for forgiveness at the beginning of the reading with Kuan Yin. Seven of Earth back and the world with Archangel Michael. A job well done. Joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path toward enlightenment. The world is about um, having made it, having, it's about being a survivor for me. Having made it through like a difficult time, a trying time, a long time, somewhere, somehow, like we stayed too long. We know we should have left this job. We know we should have left this friendship. We know we should have left this toxic relationship. We know we should have left our mother's house, our child's house, you know, whatever, our, our roommate with whom we were staying. It wasn't working and we, we pushed it too far. The universe steps in to help us to um, exit these situations. That's what the world is for me. And maybe that's why it's opposite the seven of earth, because um, something like the world requires patience when the universe is helping you um, to maneuver out of a situation. Because contrary to like the tower, it's not necessarily like an abrupt, you know, um, end to something. You're like eased out. And I started out with the five of fire and here's the five of air. But actually, I think I saw like every single five as I was shuffling for you. An unwise choice. Learn what you can from this situation. Review everyone's motives.
Masculine, the Empress with Archangel Gabriel. Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. This uh, represents for me the planet Venus, which rules both Libra and uh, Taurus. It can be about abundance, as it states. Um, also, just feeling really like super attractive um, inside and out feeling good about yourself, actually being attractive. A lot of people trying to get your attention um, right now. This can also be about one's mother or relationship with one's mother, um, the, mo the mother of one's child, you know, or a mother that is close to them. It can be about nurturing yourself, other people. Let's see what the other cards say. Also, as a three, it can be what I call a you know party of three, which isn't necessarily romantic or anything, but can be. It can be a love triangle. The masculine is surrounded by the king of earth. So I just said that this card represents Taurus and Libra. Maybe the king of earth is a Taurus um, or a Virgo or Capricorn. Generous, professional, responsible, and practical is the king of earth also one of those zodiac signs or somebody taking on the, those traits or attributes a successful time confidently accept opportunities you're offered you have the midas touch so this card can indeed at least in part be about abundance right because this guy is someone who right now he may be offered a job for, for example that he didn't even apply for you know he's just accepting offers he's attractive people are interested in him not just you know like to date him or anything but for work too like we need this guy on our team, that sort of thing. The abundance coming from that. Um, in his subconscious, it's the moon with Archangel Haniel. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. The moon represents the sign of Pisces or perhaps other water sign, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, and can also be showing up here dual meaning because we're, you know, approaching a full moon. Feminine, the page of air, logical, honest, impulsive, and curious is the page of air. Also a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody taking on those traits or attributes. Challenging information, delays or changes to plans, and truth delivered without tact. Just dropping truth bombs on people. And surrounded by the nine of fire, don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. The nine of fire is about perseverance. Keep moving, keep pushing. And the ace of air is also back. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation and a challenging beginning. Crowning, strength with Archangel Ariel. Great inner strength, release harsh judgments. Instead, exercise some forgiveness and compassion. And the world is back, another three. Job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude in the path toward enlightenment. So, for example, um, of the three, the, uh, there's potentially three energies, and those three energies can be three people, um, presumably the couple, the divine, masculine, and feminine, and a third person. There may be a earth, an earth sign, an air sign, and a fire sign, um, you know, at the heart of this, because the strength card represents the sign of Leo. And that's what is crowning. And that is what I saw from the gate. As soon as again, again, I pulled out that golden memories card. I said, oh, somebody might be a fire sign. Um, at the heart of the matter, here comes the water. <laughs> it's the night of water. Emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, and contemplative. Falling in love or wedding proposals. And the need to balance emotions. Maybe even an invitation to a social event. Somebody might be a cusper or, or something like that. Or sun, moon rising water sign as well um here with this being at the heart of the matter but also i think more importantly it's saying like what's at the heart of the matter is love and it's surrounded by all this other busyness let's um go to the romance cards and see what they might add without wasting any time just pick those up. I got to tell you the cards fell and they landed with another three standing me staring me in the face. It was awakening or the hanged man, um, which also represents the sign of Pisces for me because it represents, um, like the planet Neptune in that confusion, the need to take a step back, look at the bigger picture, etc. Um, so yes, I was going to the romance cards 
beginning with keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And opening to flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Keep an open mind and passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Passion and playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Playfulness, not the bottom. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Playfulness. I'm going to cut. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Overall energy is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So again, it looks like that's what the universe is helping one or um, both of these two to do with this here at the heart. I'm sorry, at the root, uh, the world here at the root. Possibly helping them both out of a situation involving a third energy. Top the Empress. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Maybe in, in nurturing yourself and doing fun things, being social, all that kind of stuff. Um, giving, you know, setting some time aside for yourself, for you. Here atop the King of Earth, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And attached to um, not only a court card, but the King of the suit of earth, a relationship, a romantic relationship is indicated to have longevity. Atop the moon. So maybe it's the water sign that is out. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Or it can be here atop the moon, not because the water sign is out, but because the moon uh, represents like the unknown and things that aren't hidden, uh, things that are hidden rather. Um, and this is here in someone's subconscious, the masculine subconscious. It's not necessarily known to the world or even, you know, their, their local world, their personal world. Feminine. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So you need to do some nurturing of you too. Take on some of this empress that's over here by the masculine. Atop the nine of fire. Trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. So when the universe guides you to keep pushing and keep going, and you might not be able to see why. Maybe that's why the seven of earth was here before too. Um, but unnecessary worry because we've planted the seeds. We've got to wait for them to grow and then we can get to see what we've sown, that sort of thing. You might not get to see also again, the moon, there's stuff going on behind the scenes. You don't know what that's where the trust comes in. You got to like keep going anyway is what this means here atop the ace of air. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Like it's time to choose what type of life, what direction, with whom, all that sort of thing. Um, put it out into the universe because it's on its way. Like you already have it and now you're going to like manifest it in a more tangible manner. Here at top strength, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And here atop the world makes a lot of sense. Healing family issues. So somebody was probably in a, in a relationship, possibly a marriage, too long. The marriage has been dead. It's been over. They're still there. 
So now the universe saying, okay, we're not going to tower you, but this has to end. This has to stop. And they start to pull you out of it. Um, I'm, I'm feeling, hearing that it can be in, it can be another kind of family situation too. It doesn't have to be marriage, but you get the idea of what I was trying to say. It's something that we tried to, we tried to make it work. Um, we felt that we were doing the right thing. That was the right thing to do. Let's stick it out. Let's keep going. And it, it just, it just can't work. It just can't work. So the universe is going to help us to, you know, leave uh, letting bygones be bygones, as they say, no hard feelings. But this is where the unrequited love is. It's sitting here next to the healing of family issues. And at the heart of the matter, atop the night of water, playfulness. So how do we get back to this love? How do we kiss and make up lighthearted? Like not leaving that baggage behind, not bringing anything too heavy with us and approaching each other from a place of, of love and, and um, levity is how we're going to do it. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Let us do some advice now. From the Tony Carmine Salerno Universal Love Oracle to the Masculine Goddess. Uh, and here with this full moon yet again, this card guides you, guides one to surrender. First of all, nudity does that to me because when you see somebody bare, it's like they're at their most vulnerable, right? There's no protection. There's the, they're trusting. They're fully trusting you, the universe, the environment, everything. Um, that's what the masculine is guided to do right now. And this full moon will help him to do that. And it's a very feminine, the full, the moon is already a feminine energy. This one is extra feminine. It's in Aquarius, which is also feminine. Um, for you, physical body. So similarly, you are bare before the universe. You are at your most vulnerable as well, guided to move into surrender too, to allow yourself to be bathed in healing light. You, you have yellow light here, orange light here. To me, that says solar plexus and sacral chakra should be your focus. The masculine, the ace of water, falling in love, or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition, maybe even a new home. This can be like reconciliation. The ace of water tends to show up for when reconciliation is... Um, about maybe that's what the separation card popped up here for to indicate to me that there was currently a separation and that's about to end very soon when the ace of water shows up um whether that's the case or not this can certainly be a new relationship or a relationship a new renewed um and or some other kind of divine new blessed beginning and yes including a new home as a possibility And for you, the last feminine for whom I read um, got this same card as advice. Um, and I felt the same thing about her that I do about you right now, that there, you, you have some trust issues um, on which you need to work. And that may be why I'm showing, I'm showing this card with this woman, not really trying to cover herself up, but like holding, yeah, in part, you know. Let me cover a nip, like some, some trust issues, some esteem issues that we need to work on. The healing sounds can help you with, and you're not alone. You know, we all go through that. Um, you know, none of us are perfect. Again, to the masculine, this could be the one you've already met. The romantic partner you seek is his guidance. So that's what he's to go and meditate on. <laughs> And for you, what did I say when I picked up that ace? I said, new love or love anew. Exactly. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. New person is your old person coming back and in a new way, a better way. I hope that you enjoy your reading and you find it helpful. Namaste, angel.